Hi, my name is Christopher Westphal. I'm a licensed insurance agent, and I specialize in the Medicare field with seniors and senior benefits. And one thing that's been happening lately is a whole bunch of agencies and marketing organizations have been contacting insurance agents to try to get us to push additional products to our existing senior clients. And I have about 3,000 agents that are contracted to sell Medicare-type insurance plans under me, and these organizations are always approaching us with new ideas and new products and new services and things that we can bring to our senior uh, population of clients. And we have to really look at them with a skeptical eye, especially when it's talking about filing claims with Medicare on things that are not exactly health-related <clears throat> and not things that are necessary. This happened recently with multiple marketing organizations contacting me so that my agents and me can represent this product called the pharmacogenomic testing. This is cancer screening for seniors. And what they're telling us is uh, they'll pay me, what is it, $600 each if I can just get seniors to bill Medicare for this cancer screening. And they're trying to set up these um, seminars all over the place, seminar, workshop, and all that. Find out if you have the genetic makeup where you're more susceptible to a particular type of cancer or not. And don't worry about it, seniors. It's all paid for by Medicare and your Medicare supplement. Don't worry about it. Just come and fill out these forms. Give us your Medicare number, med your date of birth, your Social Security number. We'll file the claim form to Medicare, and you don't have to worry about it. Every time I'm approached by a marketing organization to have them request that I sell something to my clients, I really am skeptical because I want to do my due diligence and look into it a little bit further and find out what's really behind it. Years and years ago, they are trying to push diabetic testing supplies, and Medicare will pay for it. Just give them away. Give them away, and Medicare will pay for it, and we'll pay you on the back end. Well, now it's this cancer screening. They want agents like me, who are already, already dealing with a senior population, to push this on our, um, our seniors. And I want to read to you this uh, letter I'll put up right here, and it is from the Kansas uh, Senior Medicare Patrol, uh, part of the um, state of Kansas here, part of the government. And they did some research into this, and I really want to read this to you word for word because I don't want anybody to be feeling like they got scammed or worse, having their personal information in the hands of somebody who's not a licensed agent, not a fiduciary, somebody who's not looking out for their best interest and is talking about billing Medicare on your behalf where you may be on the hook financially if it's disapproved by Medicare. Remember in the Medicare world, Medicare supplements, which is what we primarily focus on, allow you to go to any provider, any hospital, any doctor, anywhere in America with freedom and flexibility to go where you want to. The caveat to that is, one, that they accept Medicare, and two, that what you're having done is medically necessary, approved by Medicare. So when the, when the claim is approved by Medicare, the Medicare supplemental plan, Plan F, Plan G, Plan N, whichever plan, is going to be approved because it rides on the coattails of original Medicare. If, however, you go in for acupuncture or, you know, voodoo doctor seance, whatever they do weird these days in alternative health, and those things are not covered by Medicare, the supplement cannot be expected to pay the back end. And that's what we have in this problem here is, let me just read to you from, from them, it's not me. My opinion is, if you're asking my opinion, we don't need to push things on seniors that are not med medically necessary, and I certainly won't do it for a profit motive of what's being tantalized as, oh, we'll pay you $600 for every cancer test you push on somebody, just file a Medicare claim and they'll pay for it. This is known as a fad, and I'm not going to call it a scam, but let's look at what Kansas said. Warning. Individuals promoting genetic testing of Medicare patients through meetings and educational sessions could be using this test to commit Medicare fraud and abuse. What is Medicare fraud and abuse? We have to take a course on that every year on what to look for on things that are scamming Medicare to take benefits away from our clients and raise the cost of Medicare Part B and Part A ultimately for everyone. We all need to be looking out for Medicare fraud and abuse. And this is pointing to something that may be along those lines. What is pharmacogenomic testing? It is testing, uh, testing is a new tool of medicine. It is the testing of certain genes to determine how a given individual will respond to specific medications. Drugs are metabolized slowly in individuals carrying genetic polymorphisms that reduce enzyme activity and these individuals 
are at an increased risk for adverse drug reactions or therapeutic failure. Alternatively, a genetic polymorphism that, creates meta that increases metabolism could result in ineffective drug treatment. Genetic testing covered by Medicare? That's the question. The answer, and again, this document's from the uh, state of Kansas. As long as Medicare is the primary insurance, patient's primary insurance, and the test is deemed medically necessary, that's the trigger, the test is deemed medically necessary, it is currently covered by Medicare with no, no copay or deductible, which means your supplement wouldn't even be involved. Let's see, Title VIII, um, 18 of the Social Security Act, Section 1862A1 states, no Medicare payment shall be made for items or services which are not reasonable and necessary for the diagnosis and treatment of illness or injury. That's the standard. Is it reasonable and necessary for the diagnosis or treatment of an Ill injury or an illness? So back to the quote here, furthermore, it has been a long-standing CMS, that's the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services policy, that, quote, tests that are performed in the absence of signs, symptoms, complaints, or personal history of disease or injury are not covered unless explicitly authorized by statute, end quote. It goes on, screening services, screening services such as pre-symptomatic genetic tests, and services that are used to detect an undiagnosed disease or disease predisposition and as such are not a Medicare benefit and not covered by Medicare. That's in bold. Similarly, Medicare may not reimburse the cost of tests, examinations that, it, that assess the risk for and or condition unless the risk assessment clearly and directly affects the management of the patient. So how could this be Medicare fraud? Let's wonder. When an individual offers to provide an educational session to a group of seniors, takes their Medicare number, then does a DNA swab, be careful privacy, this does not meet Medicare's criteria of medical necessity. This is an interpretation by Kansas. They are offering a service to the general population without determining actual need, and they are doing it outside the guidance of Medicare beneficiaries' own physician. If your doctor did not tell you that you should have this test, maybe you shouldn't have the test until you talk to your provider. If somebody with a profit motive, which might be an insurance agent that's you know, dangled with $600 for every test he can turn in, which is completely outside the scope of their duty as an insurance agent, I would be a little suspicious. If somebody approaches my mom who's on Medicare and has a great Medicare supplement and said, hey, swap yourself right here and fill out this form saying whether or not she's going to be liable if Medicare denies the claim, but we're going to go ahead and submit it anyway, I would tell mom, no, heck no. It goes on. The group will bill Medicare for services that do not meet medical necessity and do not have a referring physician familiar with the patient's needs. The amount they will receive from Medicare is over $1,100. They are abusing the Medicare system by billing for services that are not reasonable or necessary. That's not my opinion. That's the state of Kansas telling you this. Now, if you find alternative information to the contrary, please share it with me. Please comment below. If you found that this testing has been beneficial to you or someone you love, please comment below for the benefit of other people. But I want to reemphasize what they said here in their determination. They are abusing the Medicare system by billing for services that are not reasonable or necessary. They could potentially be committing fraud, not my words, their words, by intentionally billing Medicare for services they know are not necessary. Always question the motive. What can you do? If you are approached by someone, decline their service because you should not give access to your seniors to in, access to your seniors to individuals who take their personal information. Then call and report this to the Kansas Senior Medicare Patrol if you're a Kansas resident. Number two, if you've already been visited by someone taking a DNA swab, contact the Kansas Senior Medicare Patrol if you're a Kansas resident. You may want to let your your local state authorities know if you suspect any fraud there. All I'm saying is this, I'm sure that everyone could be tested, and if you want to pay out of pocket for this pharmacogenomics, 
pharmacogenomic testing. Sorry, I can't pronounce that big old word very well. I'm just letting you know, great, pay for it out of your own pocket. But if you're expecting Medicare to pay it in full with no medical determination from your physician or any other physician, or maybe they have a, a physician just rubber stamping these things, I don't know, to say that it's necessary in your case, asking if you've known anybody in the last 50 years that's had cancer. I don't know what they're asking. I'm just letting you know that if this is a routine thing just done for a profit motive, you should think twice about it, contact your provider, see if it's something that will affect you. And if your provider wants you to do it, then your provider can probably find a reputable organization to pass your information off to within the strict confines of medical confidentiality and the HIPAA protection that protects your personal information rather than just some random insurance agent contacting you and saying, hey, go get this test. It's free. I'm always suspicious of plans and tests and things that are free because someone's paying for it. And in the, and in the end here, even if it does get approved and Medicare does pay for it, if it's not medically necessary and thousands of agents are moving tens of thousands of seniors to go through testing that's not medically necessary, then you, ultimately, all of the people on Medicare will be paying for it. And in most cases, as this document uh, alludes to, it may not be medically necessary or even in your best interest to do so. That's my opinion. My goal is to protect seniors and my clients. If you have any questions, concerns about this, please hit me in the comments below. Type in there, respond to each and every one, and would love to have your feedback. I'm Chris Westfall. I'm a licensed insurance agent. If I can ever help you with your Medicare plan from coast to coast in the United States, please give me a call at 800-729-9590. That number is again below. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.